Hey guys, today we're going to be running Firefox OS. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is have Firefox. Um, I would assume you would have Firefox if you're interested. And it's a free download, just go to any browser and get it. So we're going to open up Firefox. If you go to this address you can learn a little bit more about Web IDE, which is what we'll be using to do this. And it's built right into Firefox. So the best part about that is that you don't have to download anything else other than Firefox. So we're going to go ahead and go over to this toggle and go to developer. If you don't have that, click on customize, drag it over, or it's up there. Developer, and then web IDE. I've added it to my toolbar right there. So we have uh, the web IDE right here, and we click on select runtime, and then install simulator. And then from here, we can download and install Firefox OS simulators. But uh, I already have Firefox OS 2.0, which is the latest stable version. So we can go ahead and just click on that, and it will launch in B2G. And here we are in Firefox OS. We have full capability of everything. It's a really nice operating system. Um, we can go to settings, and not that that does really much good, but yeah. So from here, we can go to the phone, and that does really no good browser, but everything is really fluid. It's probably because, well, I don't know, uh, got a lot of RAM. I don't know. You can go to the marketplace and uh, you can download apps and stuff, which there's actually a surprising amount of developer support. There is a lot of apps, like, compared to Windows Phone, I don't, I don't know if this has more, but I would say that it definitely has developer support behind it. Probably because it's an HTML5 app, a web app. It's real good for developers to do for. So I don't know, I've got a few apps installed like, uh, I don't know, Twitter. Yeah, uh, I don't know, it's still buggy. I mean, it's not exactly a completely mainstream operating system. Uh, a few weeks ago, I don't remember what company, but there was a company that released like one of the first Firefox OS phones. So it was around $200. It's only in Europe though. None of this has hit really the United States though, is, is the problem. We really need to get developers, I mean developers are on board. There's a lot of developers on board, it's just we need to start putting it with hardware. And we need to start giving it hardware like Android. And if it goes in the same direction like where Blackberry goes, where Blackberries can run Android apps natively, then I think Firefox OS is going to be a winner with a beautiful design, which, I mean, it, it could still have some improvements, but I think it looks great, honestly. Uh, I think a couple of tweaks here and there, and I think it, it'll be a good operating system. Uh, well, that's me. It's a little weird. It's a little awkward. Um, we got like here maps, usage, Facebook. I installed a few of these apps. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, like and subscribe. Peace.